Yeah, you always get that question, uh, when did you know you wanted to be an artist? I'm one of those people that uh, I can't remember a time when I wasn't drawing or painting or, or making something. There was no television, there are no computers, so you, you had to fill your time in some meaningful manner, and uh, drawing was a, was a good way to do that. Start drawing cartoons, I think, in kindergarten, and I never stop. You know, I don't know if I should say this, but I'll be honest, um, my first foray into art was graffiti. Art is my life. Kansas City, since the age of the locomotive, has been a crossroads of imagination. And in 1972, the aesthetic footprint of mid-America was elevated with the dawn of Arrowhead Stadium. Lamar Hunt built an architectural masterpiece, a cultural icon in the nation's heartland, a work of art in its own right. Arrowhead's tradition of design and ingenuity continues today. There are many great things about Arrowhead, but no doubt one of them is the iconic architecture. Having this great art collection that we're building in there is going to enhance it. We are really endeavoring to build a very fine art collection here that is completely regional in character. Artists from this region are inspired by the landscapes and waterways, the people and the history of a time and place. They express something about life and something that's important to them in a totally unique way. The best thing to approach this is to go into the studio, figure out what's inspiring to you, and just start pushing paint around. That's how I do it. The more risks and the more mistakes I make, the, the better the painting is. I really like the idea of making pieces that were about the landscape, not pieces that were just plinked in the landscape. I can feel like I can step into the paintings and, and actually become a part of them as I'm working on them. There are artists that have a sensibility that really addresses what Kansas City, what the region is about. And I think that is what you will see at Arrowhead. Football fans are a great audience, actually, to have because they're excited to be here and they're happy and they're in a good mood. So you're catching people at a great time of their day. There's just an energy, a game day energy, where people are all sort of buzzing that's pretty infectious no matter what. I think that this stadium is part of the fabric of Kansas City. I'm sure it's a great surprise visually to have all the regional important artists that have this uh, great collection that the Kansas City Chiefs have up on the wall. Seeing it in a, in a familiar setting where they might not normally see it or, or think of encountering, it's going to be a surprise. They'll be viewed by a, a lot of people and hopefully some of those people will be inspired by the work. So that's, that's a very meaningful uh, uh, project for me. If we've done our jobs well as artists, then we've tapped into the spirit of this location and to what's going on here and that that's gonna come through in the artwork. Collaborating, sharing our passions, and bringing a community to higher standards is, I think, what we're all striving for. And this example, this project, is a testament to that. Arrowhead has always been a cultural landmark for Kansas City, but now there is a strong connection between art and sports. I think it's always been there. I think the excitement of the human experience encompasses a wide range of experiences. People can ask me, what's the connection between art and sports? And I can proudly now say to them, go to Arrowhead Stadium and you'll see firsthand.